Hi everyone and welcome along. I'm really looking forward to this one today because I love to paint miniatures. We're going to do some miniature floral bouquets which can uh, work as lovely little cards maybe if you're going to a wedding as a wedding guest pop that on your wedding present or just a, a little gift tag for anyone. Now if you are enjoying these videos don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It helps us be more visible to as many people as possible. So grab your paints and let's get started. So I think this is a really fantastic project when you've got little bits of paper you want to use up. So I cut um, various scraps of watercolour paper into three inch squares and I've got a, a handful here. So um, this is just going to be lovely. I love painting miniature things. So I'm first going to draw a rough sort of, it's not quite a circle, it's more of a sort of egg shaped oval which is going to be the main bulk of the bouquet. And then just down the middle, a little central line. So we've got a strange kind of lollipop going on. And that is going to be all we need for the time being. Um, and now I'm going to just mark in where I'm gonna put some of my key flowers. So I think we'll start off with a little rose bouquet. So I'm just drawing in the roses, we'll have one up there as well. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be nice. And the way that this is going to work is we're going to begin by just sort of painting in a really nice sort of pale wash to build up our colours. Um, so I'm just getting in some nice creamy colours. So I think. Um, Buff titanium is going to be great, bit of permanent rose, mix that in with that. And we've got a lovely, very delicate rose colour there. Buff titanium is a really good sort of softener for colours. A little bit of alizar and crimson. It just makes them a little bit creamier, which I really like. Okay, and maybe a sort of orange as well, so a bit more buff titanium. I always tell you to mix your colours with your larger brush. I'm um, doing this as a size zero because I think I'm very much in, in miniature mode. Okay, so let's begin. So what I'm going to do, even though this is still like the basic wash, I'm going to paint these little sort of curly curves around in this shape so that we still do get even at this early point, a slight rose petal effect. So let me do that again. So starting from the middle, I'm just using my size zero brush, so nothing too tiny. And I'm just doing little C curves that get little bits of unpainted space in there. Let's do a different color. And this time we'll just do our, our centre just a bit higher. There we go. An orange one over here. And what we're doing is we're marking out where these colours sit, where these roses sit. <laughs> And now, whilst we let those dry, we can pop in some sort of foliage, some greenery. So I'm going to get my uh, sap green here. Now roses often have a very vibrant green leaf, but when you're painting in miniature, it's really important to quieten down those colors. And what I mean by that is, so, for example, I think a good example to describe this is when you look over a landscape and the distant horizon, the colours are faded and muted in the far, far distance. The colour's really been sucked out of them. And that's almost what happens when you're looking at something that's been shrunk down. So, that's what we're doing now with these colours. And we're going to, ooh, we're going to build them up. We're going to sort of make them more vibrant, but for the time being, we're going to begin with sort of quite diluted versions of the colours. So 
I'm going to begin by sort of establishing a little bit of a, a bouquet. So I'm going to start to draw in a sort of crisscross of lines just like that which starts sort of establishing our bouquet and then I'm also going to begin to paint in some leaves so you can see I'm just achieving these by squashing the brush down with a little curve so starting with the fine tip squashing it down and picking it up with the fine tip and what I'm going to be doing now is just starting to almost fill in the space around these flowers now the other thing of course is roses have little buds so what we can do is we can maybe see a stem here or there which is going to allow us a chance to add in a few more buds so I'm just going to fill in these diluted leaves and a few stems. So having added in a few more leaves, I'm now able to just put in a few little sort of C curves, little cup shapes of buds. And as things are drying, what we're going to do is we're going to move down to a slightly smaller brush got a size two tenths here and the colors are going to intensify just a little bit more so a little bit more concentration in the green and it's time to add just a little bit of Payne's gray to our greens so I'm going to start to add just a few more leaves either ones that are just sort of coming out from underneath previous ones or we might get brand new ones over the top but the other thing with bouquets is you nearly always have a, a variety of things a variety of um, plant styles and and sort of stem styles and so at this point what I'm going to do is I'm also going to introduce a, a longer more languid stem with that shady green and we're going to introduce one more flower into the mix once I have just filled up the rest of this bouquet with the darker colours. Okay, so we've we've just gradually filling up that uh, shape with more sort of slightly darker uh, leaves here and there, and I'm going to take just a little bit more alizarin and crimson into that buff titanium mix, and I am going to just add. little pink dashes I'm not even sure what this flower might be but I like it and maybe just a one or two little sort of dashes of it in amongst the bouquet as well the nice thing about this project is you could adapt this to as many 
different versions as you like. So now it's time to get just a little bit more free with the brush. So we're building it up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to add just a little bit of extra darkness. So this slightly more concentrated color is perfect. I'm going to do the same to the other mixes. Just getting a little bit more of the color in there. And now what we can do, and I think I might use my smallest brush, my four tenths. By the way, the, the size zero, the two tenths and the four tenths are available in my shop as a little miniature set. I love to paint miniatures, it's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, so hence why I put that set together. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some low lights to my little roses. So all I'm gonna do is, is sort of come from the from underneath and just add in that color following the curve. Trying not to be too sort of methodical or ordered with it. But it just allows that rose to suddenly appear. And then I'm going to do just a little bit on the, uh, the little buds. If we can still see them. There we go. And now we're going to take the same approach with the leaves. So I'm going to take this more concentrated dark color and start to add, not everywhere, but just a few extra little details on the leaves. Maybe um, a little sepal here and there on the, um, on the little buds. but we're still just filling up the shape. And then I've got one lovely little extra treat to show you. We're going to tie our bouquet. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn a little bow. So I'm going to draw a very sort of soft uh, triangular shape, I suppose, and then that ribbon coming out like that. Okay, I'm going to take my Alizar and Crimson mix and I want a little bit more. So just keep mixing it up if you need. I'm just going to change my water over because it's getting a bit green. Okay. the two tenths brush. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to paint those lovely kind of um, like ballet type ribbons. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat each side of that triangle as a separate little sort of um, tapered line. So we're going to go thin to thick to thin and then we're going to go thin to thick to thin Thin, thick, thin. You get the idea. Obviously, this one is just hiding behind that leaf, so we'll just cheat it a little bit. We'll do a little blob there. And then for the ribbon itself, we're going to do like a series of those tapered lines again. So another one, tapered line, almost like a string of very elegant sausages. Okay, and we want that to dry. 
and then we'll add the last bit of detail. Having let it dry, this is the stage that I rub out the pencil and you can see having rubbed it out with my little uh, hard eraser here which is available as part of my Essentials watercolour kit. Um, you can see the pencil is really nicely rubbed out. Gosh these brushes have a mind of their own don't they? And I'm just going to finish off by taking a little bit of Alizar and Crimson um, with my four tenths brush and the first thing I'm going to do is just give it the sort of ends of the ribbon and then the middles of the other ends if you see what I mean so I like to just give it a little bit of light and shade and roundness And it just gives that ribbon a bit more of a lifelike feel. And that looks really, really pretty in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to get a tiny bit of concentrated alizar and crimson and i really want this to be as little on the brush as possible and i'm now going to do a, a sort of vague sometime outline gives the ribbon the effect of twisting like that. If you just paint it on the crisscross. I call it a, a sometime outline because you're not outlining every single bit. But there you go. And the um, variety that you can try is endless but this is our cute little rose bouquet perfect for a gift card thanks so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed that one i want to say a massive thank you to my patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy and if you enjoyed it then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one and of course if you never want to miss another video then hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and you'll never miss us okay until next time bye